Hello down to folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again. Today we have a very cool darnings and throwback for none other than Diddy Hamster Hamlin. Yeah, it's 2021 Sport Clips throwback. Very, very cool looking paint scheme. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. Alrighty folks, right out of the good old box and check out this diecast. And the first thing I see with this paint scheme, and I, I, maybe I'm just, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. It reminds me a lot of the, uh, the Marlboro liveries back in the IndyCar series or whatever they called them back then, champ car car robbie no one would know that guy knows indy car like the back of his hand right he could tell you he could tell you who who won every single race every year probably uh but that sort of reminds me of right out of the gate but anyways you got the hamlin logo there which for whatever reason kind of has a ptc ws mold kind of font to it which is really interesting uh for both sides uh but this is a l mold die cast this is the good mold so you got uh sport clips haircut uh haircuts right there you got uh, camry you got the number 11 right there K&N, Sudoku, uh, very, very cool looking stuff. Got the uh, Joe Gibbs Racing 30th anniversary decal there. Now, this car has been out for some time, but I, fig I figured, you know, it's it's coming to, you know, the Darlington throwback weekend. So why not, you know, have a little bit of a throwback? We have plenty of throwbacks review here on the channel. But, uh, you know, quietly, this is one of the best looking throwback cars, I think, from that race. Um Sometimes the, you know, the Denny Hamlin cars are kind of hit or miss when it comes to throwbacks. Uh, <clears throat> the 2020 edition of it um, definitely was not my ex my exact cup of tea. This one looks great, though. I really like this. I like kind of how it's uh, kind of a, um, what do you even call this? Kind of a skewed uh, decal there. It looks really different, very retro. I like the red and white. Looks very clean. You have those retro Goodyears to it. Very, very cool looking paint scheme here. So you got sport clips, haircuts. Uh, got a very crooked decal there for the Goodyear logo. NASCAR Salutes logo. Now, obviously, you can see this little decal here was not properly pressed. But uh, truth be told, I could probably fix that if I really wanted to. I'm not too worried about it. FedEx right there. Got the, I love the Denny Hamlin signature. I like how Truix and uh, Denny Hamlin actually use signatures. I think that's very old school. Very, very cool stuff. Got FedEx once again. I do like how the logo up here has the purple and orange. But down here, it's more or less kind of a, uh, a continuous contingency sticker kind of look to it very very nice Doosan, uh, sherwin williams and mac tools of course picked up this car over there at circle b diecast if you would like to pick up this car get free shipping guys make sure you use the promo code down below uh use code diecast buffet on any orders 20 dollars or more and you will get free shipping guys fortunately over here to the back end of this car there's two things that i noticed that is probably incorrect one, the Toyota decal, uh, the middle uh, Toyota emblem is not wide enough. It, uh, it's like, it's super hard to see. You might not even be able to see it if the pixels on the lens does not uh, pick it up. But it's like a very faint, faded Toyota badge there. So, unfortunately, that is a little bit off. And it might look even better if someone just painted over that little white block there and just said Toyota. Uh, the number 11 there has a very bold outlining to it. And the 11's a little bit too uh, spaced out. You know, th those are very, very subtle, very small details. But when it comes to, you know, you know, diecast reviews, and especially with number fonts, I know what a number font's supposed to look like. So when it doesn't look exactly like that, it really sticks out to me. But nonetheless, it's still an awesome diecast. And perhaps that's kind of a, uh, maybe a, a intentional a detail. Maybe it's a, you know, a, a old school font, which would be a cool thing. I do love how the Sport Clips logo fits perfectly within the trunk line right there. That looks great. Camry decal there, XSE with the black spoiler. That is a good looking race car, guys. I'm, I'm going to keep it real here. Like, this is a very, very good looking race car. Uh, my favorite part of this car is probably that Sport Clips logo. How, like, you know, you have the Sport Clips logo that's going up, but like the stripe is going down. It's so kind of unorthodox. It just looks really nice on a, uh, you know, Cup Camry. It looks really, really good. And the red signature there, that is very, very cool. I love that. That looks really, really good. It's a good-looking car. It really is. Um, much better in, uh, I would say, die-cast form compared to the, uh, you know, the actual on-track product. But for, for a little bit of a reference here, you see the number 11 right there on the roof. It is a different font, very reminiscent of the 20 car and how they do it over there at Joe Gibbs Racing, how they have a more of a bolder font on the roof and a, uh, a, a more of a slanted font on the door. But you can see how thin the outlining is there. And the reason why I mentioned it on the, uh, the back here, the font is much bolder. So you can see a different font here compared to here, which, I mean, it's all good and all that. Uh, it's got Sport Clips haircuts, uh, Denny Hamlin right there in the back window, and got Help a Hero there. You know, I think it's high time that Denny Hamlin does a throwback to um, the uh, either his rookie year, 
maybe 2010. You know, I would love to see one of the, the, the black uh, FedEx paint schemes that had the different colors on it. Like, how cool would it be for, like, four different race weekends, he, he, they threw it back to the, the four FedEx logos. You know, the green, the blue, the red, and the orange. You know, the all-black car with a little bit of, like, a, I don't know what you would call it. It's a three-dimensional graphics package. It looked amazing on the old-school Gen 5 and even, you know, a little bit of, no, it was only, it was 2008 or 2010 they started doing the fade pattern. Or was it 2011? They had so many different paint schemes, but the, the general concept of it was very, very similar. And it looked fantastic. I would love to see one of those become a throwback. Um, I think it would be fantastic if they, if they were able to do so, uh, especially the purple and orange. I think they could still do that because um, the reason why they changed it is because FedEx went from having all these different colors and stuff for all their branches of their business, and they changed it over to just one to kind of streamline that. And that's the reason why Denny Hamlin runs the same boring paint scheme every week. But uh, that's a story for a different day. But <laughs> anyways, this is a great looking car. And truth be told, if you really wanted to make this a primary paint scheme, you know, you swap out the wheels, you put your normal Goodyear, Goodyear logos. It doesn't have a, a throwback banner or nothing on that. So you don't have to, to, to do any of that. I mean, you could put a Cup Series decal there and you could literally make this his primary car if you wanted to. It, it looks that cool. Uh, it's retro, but it's a little bit modern at the same time. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you can, please give it a huge thumbs up. And uh, like I said, I picked this one up over there at Circle B Diecast. So if you want to pick up one as well, uh, make sure to head on over there. I think this one's still in stock. Uh, so if you're kind of late to the party, perhaps you might, might be able to go pick this one up. But if I, if you can get one Denny Hamlet Diecast, I would recommend picking up this one instead, though. This one is one of my favorite Hamlin cars ever made. It's the... FedEx now where meets next or where now meets next whatever they want to call it it's a beautiful car go pick this one up uh that is the best looking FedEx car I have seen in years guys we're talking probably maybe 2015 2016 maybe even 2014 uh it has been a long time since I've seen a FedEx car that cool looking guys so anyways have a great one everybody diecast buffet signing off